Today is still September 27th. September 27th, today, seems to be a very, very long day because at 1 a.m. today, I was here, got some sleep, and then I came back. Now, I made some trades and made an observation in my uh, trading. What I've noticed was, what I've noticed is that what I'm doing now is uh, looking before I leap. I now look before I leap. Whereas in the past, I would like, I would like look at the look at the price, and I I would have to like, it's like a giant key magnet. It's like a it 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 seemed like it was a magnet. The uh, every time I even on my phone when I'm on the computer, if I look at it, it, it felt like it was a magnet that would like 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 suck the emotion out of me, right? I would suppress my emotion. I would be like the emotion would be like suppressed and there was no thought of emotion. And then when I look at the market, it would be like the emotion would just like blow up. And I would like look at the price and it goes, oh my God, oh my God, I need to get in. Oh my God, I need to get in. And then I would push a button and I'd go, oh my God, what did I do? I got in. Oh, Jesus. And I would do the same thing when I come over here. I'm like half asleep and uh, I would like, uh and then I would I would just get in. It goes, oh my God, uh, it's, it's moving too fast. I need to get in. And then what I would be thinking about is reversion trading too. That's the worst part. And so, so when the stock is going like this parabolic, I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to get in here because it's going to turn around. But I don't know when it's going to turn around. And so this emotion pops up. So today, what I've noticed that I was doing right is this. I was about, I was about 50-50 in my... Uh, FTMO challenge. Okay, I was 50-50 in my tr uh, FTMO challenge, but what I've noticed that my losses were smaller than my gains. What, something is something that I've noticed is that that's one part that I've noticed. I've noticed that my losses are smaller than my gains. So when I get in, I'm, I'm monitoring it, and I, 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 as soon as it turns, I just, I just. I just get exit or set the stop loss to a, a significant, a very small loss. And then when it's going, then I monitor it. I do set, set the limit order, but I do monitoring it to make sure that I see a signature of a continuation. But if it takes a breather and it takes a, it, it, it attempts to retrace and I get out. Okay. So the gain is good. Then what I've noticed is that what I've been, what I have been, uh, um, stressing to myself is that I need to enter on a proper setup. And so what I've noticed that's different than the previous challenge that I did with the FTMO is that I would just I would just look at it, I would just get in, and then I would get like bamboozled, and I would get in again, bamboozled, 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 and then I would like, oh, okay. So I'm looking at my own trading data at that moment and then going reverse and all of a sudden it just the, the stock would just reverse right so thinking that okay thinking that it would be like going up 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 and I would like I would like a reversion 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 and then I get fed up and I would like go uh, short and then it the stock would just recover that's the that's the thinking that I have now there's a couple of things that are that are happening that seems to be a a favorable thing to do. The first part is I am now. I am now, which is which is very very critical. Is looking before I leap. Before I leap, I am looking. I am looking before I leap, because I know there's a chasm. Okay. There's a chasm there. There's a there's a there's there's a there's a possibility that the stock is going to go up. There's a possibility that it's going to go down. Um, still, right now, right now, it's just right at my chest. Is that uh, 
Meta, Meta was down like 11 to 12 dollars just like a couple hours ago. And then it just started to like recover. And then now it's at like plus a dollar or two, right? That's, that was like a $14 swing within one day. I got a small part of it, which is an insignificant amount in my demo account. <laughs> had I had that, had I had that point of getting into, anyway. So that's the, that's, so now I'm, I'm looking before I leap and I'm minimizing my losses compared to my gains. Those are, those seems to be working very, very well. Okay, I'm, I'm looking, I'm monitoring, I'm checking things out. I'm saying, okay, what is, what is, what is the Dow doing? What is the QQQ doing? What is the VIX doing? Okay, I didn't look at the VIX too much because it correlates fairly well with what the QQQ is doing and also uh, the Dow is doing. And I, I've noticed that. And I look at the charts and I look at, I look at, I looked at other stocks in relation to the stock that I'm looking at, which has, which these stocks that are related to each other and see what its behavior is, look at it. And then I look for the chart formation to say, okay, it's, it's bottoming out and it's reversing and it's changed the direction. So that must be the, um, that must be a major trend reversal position and is safe to go in the direction of that trend. And so what I'm doing right now, which I hope to continue doing, is to look before I leap, cut my losses fast, and then ride out my longs as long as possible.